I also picked up when I was coming through town here, I picked up, coming through Macon, I picked up a copy of a paper called the Telegraph. Yeah, the Telegraph. It's out of Macon, I think. And then I came down here and I read, it says, here's what it says. Now, this is not the Wilkinson County Post. Let me, let me specify. This is not the Wilkinson County Post. But it says, ex-officer said he wasn't promoted because he's black. Now, that's an accusation. That's not a fact. He just very well could be lying. Like perhaps others may be lying here in Wilkinson County about the forensic audit that the mayor asked for nearly 14 months ago and have been blocked at every point and avenue. But we go down a little further, say former Gordon Cop settles, uh-oh, -uh, settles about race. But it looked like he settled it. I wonder how much he settled it for. Hmm. Well, I just want to give you a little small preview of this. Don't that make you sick? Don't that make you sick that in 2015 we got discrimination going on and the city pays out saving the thousand dollars? There got to be some discrimination somewhere. On June the 19th, while traveling through Gordon, I picked up a copy of this Wilkerson County Post. I always get it when I come through town here. And I don't mind, mind paying a dollar for it, although I know it's biased. It is one-sided. Judy Bailey once said to me, I talk about this paper and condemn it, but that was opinion and not facts. Well, today I want to share this with you. This Wilkinson County Post with editor Judy Bailey and executive editor DeVos Porter, who is also the chairman of the Democratic Party. If you look at this paper, Wilkinson County Citizens, you will believe that you have the news. Here we have another article dealing with Gordon Mayor's EOC complaint against city dismiss. And they have a picture of the clerk, Tawana Brown, my beautiful sister. We thank her for all the services she conducted and completed within the city limits of the city of Gordon. However, this is what's in the Wilkinson County Post. And this is in the land of the free and the home of the brave where we have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, etc., etc. So we have people who do not go out to city council meetings and so they listen to my and watch my YouTube channel. And they can become somewhat educated on what's going on in their communities. And so now let's push the Wilkinson County Post aside because you already know that there's nothing in this paper positive about the mayor or her sister. So we already know that. So when I get this paper, there's nothing that surprises me. The mayor have not done one thing, according to the Wilkinson County Post, that I, since I've been over here for 14 months. And so let's just push that to the side, okay? Now, I also picked up, when I was coming through town here, I picked up, coming through Macon, I picked up a copy of a paper called The Telegraph. Yeah, The Telegraph. It's out of Macon, I think. And then I came down here and I read, it says... Here's what it says. Now, this is not the Wilkinson County Post. Let me, let me specify. This is not the Wilkinson County Post. But it says, ex-officer said he wasn't promoted because he's black. Now, that's an accusation. That's not a fact. He just very well could be lying. Like perhaps others may be lying here in Wilkinson County about the forensic audit that the mayor asked for nearly 14 months ago and have been blocked at every point and avenue. But we go down a little further, say former Gordon Cop settles, uh-oh, settles about race. But well, it looked like he settled it. I wonder how much he settled it for. Hmm. Well, well, I read the article, and I can tell you, but let's not do that. Let's go down and see what the paper say. A former police officer who filed a racial discrimination suit last year has agreed to a $70,000 settlement. His name is Larry, Shen, Larry Shenholster. He alleged that the Gordon police failed to promote him from a part-time parole to a full-time position on multiple occasions because he's black. 
according to a lawsuit filed in U.S. District Court April 23, 2014. The settlement is the latest development in a series of ongoing legal battles involving the small Wilkinson County town with a population of about 2,000 people. Now, look, isn't that something? So now, we must ask a valid question. If they settled out of court, I wish that it would have went on to court myself, and I have a right to say that, because I believe it may have revealed a little deeper about the problems here in Gordon. Now, let's go to the other page, page 2A. Now, much of this article is about the mayor, <laughs> believe it or not. So my question is, why all this about the mayor? Why didn't it, why was not this just put in one order for the mayor and one concerning this big discrimination suit here? Discrimination. But you know, they'll tell you today that there is no discrimination in that. All that is a figment of our imagination. Well, I just want to give you a little small preview of this. Don't that make you sick? Don't that make you sick that in 2015 we got discrimination going on and the city pays out saving the thousand dollars? There got to be some discrimination somewhere or why would they pay out that much money? Personally, I believe that for all of this is over, when God get through with this city and the black lawyers for justice from Washington, D.C. come in as they went down to Brunswick, Georgia and filed a $23 million lawsuit, personally, I do believe that these little small towns going to be so broke they not even, they won't be able to buy chicken food, chicken feed. But anyway, be that as it may. Now, in closing, let me say this, y'all. What is most sickening and disgraceful is that right before our face here in Gordon, with everything that happened with Mary Ann Whippleloo, they never miss Judy Bailey. This is not my opinion, Judy Bailey. The Bowles Porter, this is not my opinion. The, these are the facts of reality. If the mayor spit on the ground, she's published front page. If the mayor's sister passed gas front page, front and center. But look, Citizen Gordon, if you believe in this paper, the Wilkinson County Post is giving you the truth, then let me ask you a question. Did they publish this? Did they publish the article about the former cop settles lawsuit for seventy thousand dollars? And personally, I wish you would have taken taken it further. But my question to Miss Judy Bailey, who says, "This is not my opinion, Judy Bailey. I don't see where you published this in the Wilkinson County Post, but I know you'll publish it next week, and we'll be waiting for it. And we want you to be just as detailed in this article." in that article as you are in dealing with the historic first female mayor, first black male mayor in the history of Gordon. Once again, this is the Ghetto Free Press. Now you all can condemn me if you like. I'm used to being criticized since 1975 and recently they called me a race beta. And I'm asking you to go to Boston GBR and look at my playlist concerning race baiters. I'm showing who the real race baiters are. In fact, we just had a race bait in South Carolina a few days ago. This is what the real race baiters do to us. And we just sit back and keep praising our God because we know in the end, truth, right, and justice will win. And our children will be proud of our record in terms of how we dealt with those who dealt with us in a way that Satan would be pleased. Yes, when you deal with certain people in a negative and ugly, mean-spirited way, you are pleasing your God, and Satan loves you. And so once again, our God tells us, he have no respect of person for what I say unto one, I say unto all. That means if you report on Mary Ann Whippleloo and her sister Pam, then you ought to report other articles, even if it shines light on the truth, so all the world can be free. For without truth, there can be no freedom. Once again, to Brother Larry Shinholster, I pray for you, my brother. It took courage. It took guts. 
and I know you know more than what is published in this paper. And so I'm hoping that somewhere, somehow, God will let the truth come out about what you went through, my brother. And I don't even know him personally, but I, I, when I picked this paper up, and when I saw it, I said to myself, let me get a copy of the Wilkinson County Post so I want to see what Judy Bailey wrote about it. And I don't see a damn thing in here. Now, this is what it is. Once again, the front page of the Wilkinson County Post got the mail, but it don't have front and center about that lawsuit dealing with law enforcement and discrimination. This is only part one. I'm going to go through this article. I'm going to dissect it. I'm going to outline it because I want the people of Gordon to understand something. You will never be free until you learn to stand up on your feet as free men, women, and children and respect the Constitution, although it just seemed to be black ink on white paper. Bye-bye. We go. Today is a great day. The mayor won her case in part in the Georgia Federal Court. As it says on the Wilkinson County Post, suit against Gordon Mayor can move forward. When one read that, they will see it as that. But there's more to it than that. There was more brought up against this mayor. And so that title could be two different titles. But I'm not even going to get into that because you all know what the Wilkinson County Post represent here in the Middle District of Georgia. But briefly, I want to talk about that lady right there. The first female mayor in the history of Garden. The first black mayor in the history of Gordon and of course a couple other titles you also know she just lost her late husband Basil Lou but how many people from the city well I skip that too I won't even talk about that because once again you know more about Wilkinson County than I do and more so about Gordon and so as I was traveling through Gordon today, 